The New Age movement is a set of new religious spiritualities rather difficult to define, and yet they feel easy to intuitively pinpoint to those who are involved in or research new religious movements. But what is the New Age movement? Stay tuned if you want to find out. Hello everyone, I'm Angela and welcome back to my channel. Today in my office <laughs> at Leeds Trinity University. So yeah, uh, today we will talk about the New Age movement. So let's move on to it, shall we? The term New Age refers to the New Age of Aquarius, a perceived golden age that the hippie movement in the 1970s identified as a coming time of religious freedom and enlightenment. As a consequence, there was a tendency towards overthrowing all the authorities in every manifestation, basically, whether they be religious or political or social. From this refusal of authoritarianism and basically the systematized religious movement, there was this tendency to seek the spiritual teachings underlying all religious movements, somehow attempting to go beyond one specific religious affiliation. As a result, an active eclecticism became an integral part of the New Age, fostered by one of its theoretical underpinning, which is the perennial philosophy. Although the idea of a philosophia perenne takes its root in the Renaissance, there was a survival of the concept in the 20th century, inspired by Aldous Huxley's book called The Perennial Philosophy, and seen as the notion that there is an eternal truth and wisdom that can be accessed through different ages of humanity, so it's not really contextual to one specific place, one specific religion, one specific philosophy, or one specific moment in time. There's an eternal underlying truth that can be accessed and can be found, which somehow overcomes all the differences and the manifestations that this truth can be shaped into. The concept of a perennial philosophy also implies that there is a shared philosophical core that all great philosophies and religions have in common. This core is the one that bears the most value because it represents the truth disguised in its various manifestations, uniting rather than dividing people. Another important aspect in the New Age is a worldview called Deep Ecology. The term Deep Ecology was coined by the Norwegian philosopher Arne Næss and refers to a firm stance against anthropocentric views of the world to foster what the author calls biospherical egalitarianism. Also, the exploitation of less powerful human communities is also condemned. To favor local communities, and the uh, diversity they bring about instead. Key to this movement is total field image that opposes the human in the environment perspective. So the idea is not that the human is in the environment, which would be still human-centric, but rather than a human is part of the creation in the same exact way that all the other elements and manifestations are. This new holistic perspective on the interaction between human beings and their surroundings links also to the noticeable awareness this movement has towards a specific kind of science. This, which has been called new science or new age science, is the one which can work as an ally against what is perceived to be an old traditional science, which only perceived human beings as, as a body, as a set of mechanical functions, which led human beings to alienation and materialism. Within the realm of this new age science, there are scientists themselves, some of whom have gained popular recognition, 
such as David Bohm, for example. New Age Science has as its main goal to develop unified worldviews. This search for wholeness brought about by deep ecology, perennial philosophy and the New Age Science shows this movement's attempt at combining a new enchanted interpretation of the world with the rationalism of a secular age. Another noticeable trait in the New Age is in fact the matter of re-enchantment, which we have already talked about in our video on paganism. So actually the re-enchantment of the world, which means that the world is not seen anymore as a set of part which are disconnected from each other, the world is not seen anymore as a set of single individual separated elements. In an enchanted worldview the idea is that everything is living and you can interact with any aspect of the manifestation of reality. But the way the New Age movement re-enchants the world is quite specific. Since the New Age is strictly related to science, or rather a specific kind of science, it tends to incorporate, uh, as I said, the rationalism of our secular age. The idea that we live in a universe comprised of energies and vibrations with which human beings can interact is combined with a rationalization and scientification of how such process may occur. As a consequence, followers of the New Age movement tend to value greatly academic knowledge. And this allowed former academics or former scientists to gain a lot of popularity in the New Age movement. More popularity, we may say, than those who do not fall in this category. Thus having academic teachers as religious experts. To sum it up, there are three main themes that emerge from the New Age movement. The first one is a search for unity that overcomes differences, for in a New Age worldview this may lead to conflict. Also, if something is to be identified as true, it must be so in every age of history and across all its varied manifestations. The second one is a scientification of religious beliefs, where science is a source of interest and yet only selected outputs are considered and interpreted according to a pre-existing belief system. The third theme is the so-called re-enchantment of the world. A newfound perspective on things which uh, sees everything as sentient and animated, allowing the individual to engage in a greater and more meaningful interaction with all the elements of reality. It is indeed in the encounter between the secularization and the endurance of religious paradigms in Western society that the essence of the New Age movement lies. So this is it for today's overview over the New Age movement. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you like this video and what you'd like to see next. Meanwhile, if you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell so that you won't miss any video out, and stay tuned for all the academic fun. Bye for now!